What's up gang, it's Wilma Kaysen. I'm back with another video today. Today it's a quick unboxing of a toiletry 15 that I found on LuxDH. And I'm also gonna share with you guys my newest obsession with eBay, so stay tuned. You guys already know the routine. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. If you're just breezing by, thank you guys for stopping by. Definitely check out my other content if you like it. Don't be afraid, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I load a new video. To my return viewers and my subscribers, I love you guys so much. Let's get on with the video. I'm obsessed with eBay lately. I have been afraid of it for years. I always felt like they sold counterfeit. And there's just so many people who I trust and love who shop at eBay. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just get my feet wet a little bit. And let me tell you, my feet are drenched right now. My feet are totally drenched. This obsession started with, I'm very anal. I've shared this with you guys before. So A, don't judge and B, don't be surprised. I love Burberry coats. All of my coats are Burberry. I probably have about 20 of them. The majority of them do come from the outlet. Three or four of them have come from Saks, Bloomingdale's, or the actual Burberry store. So when I purchase them, I get the Burberry hangers, and I've always loved that, right? So I cracked three of my hangers last week, and just kind of shifting things around and trying to get prepared for the spring. So I was moving some winter coats back and bringing some spring summer coats up front. So I cracked three hangers and I was like, it set me off. Again, I know, I have a problem. Uh, it set me off and I was like, oh, they need wooden hangers. Knowing that they have wooden hangers, I'm like, why don't they give them give the wooden hangers out to the clients more? Now, when I got my red duffel coat last Christmas, not 2017, but 2016, I did a video on it. Bloomingdale's gave me the wooden hanger and I just kept, I remember saying at that time, they should give us the wooden hangers more often. So. I was kind of annoyed because my plastic hangers broke, so I took to eBay and I was like, I wonder if someone's selling the wooden hangers. So, not only was someone selling the wooden hangers, they used to be a merchandiser for Nordstrom or some big department store, and they had a lot of them. Now, a lot is usually like the quantity, like a lot of 10 or a lot of 20. So this one was a lot of 20, which was perfect because I had 20 Burberry coats that needed hangers. So I logged online, purchased it, quick shipping, and I was like, okay, so eBay is not bad. And when I tell you that these hangers came in pristine condition, like they were all wooden, they had the rubber, no slip tops, they're just everything I could have asked for, and then started my obsession with eBay and hangers. <laughs> so a lot of my Ralph Lauren clothes do come from the outlets or from sales online. I made friends with a young lady who worked at Ralph Lauren and she always gave me the hangers, like the wooden hangers with a really beautiful gold or silver detail. So she left the company and after she left, I've acquired a lot of clothes from Ralph Lauren and I'm like, oh, I just really, really wish. I don't care about the sweaters, it's the pants. And I'm like, I really just wish that I can just find some way to get more pants hangers or shorts hangers. For me, it's shorts. So after I had this great success with the Burberry hangers, I was like, I wonder if they have Ralph Lauren hangers, if someone's selling Ralph Lauren hangers. And of course they were. Someone who used to work for another one of these big department stores as a merchandiser has a ton of them. Now I purchased 50. I know it's excessive. I have a lot of shorts. So I was able to find 50 hangers and I was like, I'm really, really digging this eBay thing for small things. I haven't taken the leap to try large luxury items yet, like a bag or anything, but I'm like, the Burberry hangers were a success. The Ralph Lauren hangers were a success. I mean, and these things came packaged well. Like, I felt like they came straight from the distributor, like Ralph Lauren or Burberry themselves. They came really, really packaged nicely. Trust me, they were they were amazing. After the success with those two, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can take a stab at this luxury thing. So there's a book that has been on my mind for the longest time. I missed it when it came out in the stores, and that is the Louis Vuitton Marc Jacobs limited edition book. I have the regular Louis Vuitton Marc Jacobs book, but I know that that limited edition book was so hard to find, and it like came and left really, really quickly. And there's like not that many of them made. So I said, I'm gonna take a stab at searching this on eBay and seeing if I can get it. So I searched it the first time, one popped up, and I was just like on the fence, like, oh my God, like how do I know that this thing is real? And then I'm telling myself, no one's making replica luxury books, okay? No one is making a replica luxury book. But in my crazy mind, I'm like, no, nope, I don't know if it's real. I don't, I don't know if it's real. So that one, I lost that one. I never even bid on it. A couple weeks later, I came across another one that was in Japan. And I've always had this fear of purchasing from Japan because I just feel like 
I was gonna get something that's counterfeit. But everyone, and entrusted names who I love, as I mentioned before, shop on eBay and they love these Japanese resellers and they're so great and they have a no counterfeit policy. So I said, all right, let me take a stab at this one. When I tell you guys, I am so happy that I did. So basically, I was so excited to get the package that I was like, do I film a, vi a video, do I not? But I started filming, so I'm gonna insert a little clip here of me opening it. I do have it out of the box now, but I basically got the package in three days from Japan. Three days, and I was like, how is that possible? And I don't like DHL, but the person shipped DHL. It came super fast. It was packaged beautifully. I got the brown Louis Vuitton box. I got the original box that the book came in, the Louis Vuitton paper that was wrapped, that the box was wrapped in. I was just like, this thing came so amazing. I am so happy that I got it, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Here she is, guys. It is the Marc Jacobs Louis Vuitton limited edition book. It comes with this beautiful hard slipcase, which is made of like the old school brown Louis Vuitton, like what their boxes were made of. And I love how you can see the Louis Vuitton Marc Jacobs cut out here. It is gorgeous and you can see that gold foiling in the back. So the front of the book has a Marc Jacobs picture here and you have Louis Vuitton embossed right here, which is so amazing. On the back of the book, you have a picture of Louis Vuitton himself. So it is a really, really, really beautiful book, you guys. And I must say, the limited edition book, as well as the older book, are exactly the same, with the exception of the outside. I am so happy to have acquired that. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Like I said, this book is so hard to find. It's limited. I'm just so over the moon to have it, so that's that. So the last thing that I wanna share with you guys, I have shopped with Lux DH before and had a wonderful experience. That's where I got my Truce Voslov toiletry bag from. This next thing that I want to share with you guys, I've been loving my toiletry 15 in the monogram canvas so much lately, and I've been saying I really, really wish I could find one in Dami Bean. And in my mind, I know that I've seen a toiletry 26 before in the, in the Dami Bean. I've never seen a 19, and I've never seen a 15. So I was Googling, Googling, and I'm like, I don't know if this is, if this really exists. Exist. Like I know like the Montserrat backpack that I have, things like that are special order, but I was like, I don't really know if there's a toiletry 15 in a dummy event that Louis Vuitton came out with. Well, well, well. When my wonderful friends at Fashion File popped up in a Google search and they have in the past sold a number of them. So I'm like, okay, I know it's real. I know that they were made before because I've seen it on Fashion File and I wish I found one on Fashion File, but I didn't. I found this piece on Lux DH's website. Again, I really, really have enjoyed shopping with them. Quick shipping, and let me tell you, I think her name is Nikita. When you shop with them, she sends you an email so quick and she lets you know, thanks, I received your order, and as soon as it gets shipped, I'll let you know, and as soon as it's shipped, she lets you know. I am so unbelievably happy with their customer service. It's amazing. And they sell really, really amazing items as well. So. I did open it already, it's for the sake to save time in the video. When you open it, it does have the black and white striped paper, and it also has this black envelope here. And inside the black envelope, you have, it's basically a card that says Lux DH on the front, and on the back, it just says thank you for your purchase. And the last little thing that comes in the box is this here which says Lux DH on the front, and on the back it is just your authenticity guarantee. All right, so let's get to unboxing. When you take it out of the box, it is this, like I said, black and white tissue paper, and it says Lux DH Designer House on the front. And when you take it out of the tissue paper, th this is a, sh whoa. This is a huge dust bag, you guys. The item is right here. The dust bag is ginormous. So when you dig into the bottom of this bag, it reveals the toiletry 15 in the Damier Eben, guys. It is in such amazing condition. This is the security tag here. Here you have your item number which is 37150023. It's got the beautiful brass hardware. The tab there says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And the part of the bag that I'm so excited for is this interior, which is supposed to be that red lining. Oh my gosh. 
I did not realize it came with a dust bag, but who cares? We're, we're looking at this interior right now. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at how vibrant that is. This is so beautiful. This thing is in amazing, amazing condition. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to throw it in one of my Dami Bane bags. I'm sorry, I had to go get one. <laughs> so this is my Dami Bane Bastille Messenger bag. And I'm definitely going to be carrying this in my bag as a catch-all. Now, I know that I currently, I told you guys that I've been carrying my Toiletry 19 as a tech bag, and I've been using my Toiletry 15 in the monogram as a personal bag. So it has like my chapstick, some hand wipes, some face wipes, just small, like some small samples of cologne. So that's what this is gonna be used for when I carry a Dami bean bag. Now that I found this, I am gonna be on the hunt for a Toiletry 19 as a tech bag to carry in my Dami bean bags. Just putting that out there. <laughs> so that is it guys. I just want to share with you these two things that I purchased as well as my newest obsession with eBay. Although I think that it's kind of come to an end. I got this, the things that I needed and I think that I am currently at bag piece. There is nothing outside of my wish list, which is a wish list because a guy can dream, can he? But I think for right now, I'm not really looking for much of anything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you did and comment below if you liked any of the things that I shared with you guys, as well as if you have any questions, especially about this here, Toiletry 15, which I will do a review on in the future. See you guys later, bye.